Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with another flipped math learning video. Our learning goal today is I can compare and order decimals. Our guiding question is how can I compare and order numbers with decimals? So we have no new vocabulary for this lesson. We do have some strategies for comparing and ordering decimal success. So first you want to start and line up the numbers by the decimal point. You want to compare from the left to the right to identify the larger and smaller numbers and then write the sign or order the numbers based on what you are asked to do. So let's go ahead and pull up a whiteboard and do some practice problems now. Make sure that these strategies are written in your math journal. Pause the video if you need to do that now. Okay, so the first type of practice problem that you're going to see are problems like these, where they want you to insert the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol into the problem. You work them the same to order and compare the numbers. So first, you line them up based on the decimal. Second, you compare from the left to the right. Same, same, same. Seven is larger than two. So you face the symbol to the larger number. Let's try the second one here. Okay, so we have 7 and 216 thousandths. We're comparing it to 7 and 203 thousandths. So we've lined them up based on the decimal. We look from the left to the right to look at their value. Sevens are the same. Twos are the same. We have a one and a zero. One is greater than zero, so we face our symbol towards the greatest number. Now the second kind of problems that we see with comparing and ordering give you a list of numbers, and you have to take that list and put it from greatest to least or least to greatest. So let me get my whiteboard erased here and I'll get you some numbers so that you can do some practice. Okay, so the second type of problem involves lists of numbers where you're asked to put them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. The process is the same for either one. You still start by lining them up based on their decimal. So five and 540 thousandths, five and 631 thousandths, 5 and 625 thousandths, and 5 and 739 thousandths. Let's write these from um, greatest to least. So we compare starting at the ones place on the left. Our fives are all the same. We have a 5, a 6, a 6, and a 7. That means our 7 is going to be the greatest and our 5 is going to be the least. I'm going greatest to least, so I'm just going to put a 1 and a 4 so I know what order that they go in. We now look at the two remaining numbers. We've got 6s that are the same. We've got a 3 and a 2. 3 is greater than 2, so that's going to be our second place number and this is going to be our third place number. So then we write them in order from greatest to least. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the second example down here. We line them up the same. 675 thousandths, 1 and 529 thousandths, 1 and 35 hundredths, 
and we have 693 thousandths. So this row we're going to write from least to greatest. So our least number is going to get this number one spot over here. We have a zero and a zero. So we're going to compare these two numbers. We have a six and a six, a seven and a nine. Seven is smaller than nine, but these are both smaller than these two middle numbers because they have a one in the ones place. So we're looking for the next least number. We're comparing ones. We have a five and a three. Five is greater than three, so it's gonna be last, and this one's gonna come in the middle. We come over here and we write our numbers out in order from least to greatest. Okay, it's all about remembering to line them up over here based on the decimal and then compare from the left to the right. So let me get my whiteboard erased and we'll come back for the third type of problem that you'll face. Okay, so the third problem that you're going to see, the type of problem, is written like this. It asks you to write a number that is greater than 4 and 508 thousandths but less than four and 512 thousandths. I would solve this problem just like I have the others. I would write these numbers down. And you're looking for any number that is in between them. Okay, so four and 508 thousandths you could have four and five hundred nine thousandths. You could have four and five hundred ten thousandths or four and five hundred eleven thousandths. All three of these numbers would fit right inside of these two numbers and be between them. So any of these would be the correct answer. When you line them up based on the decimal points, it's just easier to see what would go inside. So as we wrap this video up, I want you to practice comparing and ordering decimal place value numbers. Um, make sure that you remember our strategies for success by lining them up based on the decimal point and then comparing from left to right. Have a great day and good luck with your work.